most of the students when they prepare for UPSC, they make a mistake. They step by step start following the timetable and the syllabus, but make a mistake of going in the base. My friends, this is Vineet Pandey. In this video, I'm going to talk about the basic standard of UPSC preparation. When you're starting UPSC optional subject and you take English literature, most of the students find it easy because most of the books are already prescribed in their graduation syllabus or they have done their post-graduation. But do you know, when you start reading King Lear or Tempest, it is not only King Lear, not only Tempest, which is prescribed in your syllabus. In fact, you must have a proper understanding of complete British history. You must understand what was Shakespeare's contribution, who were his forefathers, whose styles were copied by Shakespeare, how King Lear is the result of Aristotelian tragedy, how Tempest follows three unities and how Tempest fulfills all the characteristics of Shakespearean comedy. In short, when you focus on these two particular books, you have to understand who was Shakespeare, how Shakespeare became Shakespeare, what was the contribution of seven university wits. Students don't understand this thing that when you read one writer, you have to understand that one particular writer is the result of a complete tradition. You must know the development of drama, the artistic drama, the formation of Oxbridge scholars, university wits, out of those seven university wits who inspired Shakespeare. In King Lear, there is one person who takes revenge. He is Admin. Admin is taking revenge from his father for being a bastard. What if they ask you that the revenge concept has been inspired by Thomas Kidd, discuss Shakespearean as a writer dealing with revenge tragedies. In short, my friends, you will have to read complete British history, keeping all the trends, moments, writers, patterns, all of these things in your mind, along with a proper study of the book. When you study King Lear, the King Lear has been studied from feminist point of view. You know, when the daughter Cordelia, she becomes straightforward and says that her bonding with her father is natural. Not more than that, not less than that. She is the one who is actually being straightforward. But King Lear, suffering from old age frivolities, in the words of A.C. Bridley, he calls it old age frivolities. He says, sharper than a serpent's tooth, how sad it is to have a thankless child. This attitude towards the daughter is Hamarshia. You must understand that Hamarshia has been called tragic flaw, fatal flaw. And Hamarshia's concept has been given by Aristotle. When you study Shakespeare's tragedy, you must understand that Shakespeare tried to imitate Aristotelian concept of ideal tragedy. He used Hamarshia, Peripatia, Anagnorisis, Catharsis, and along with all these things, the high standard character, one key figure, fatal truth, and subplots. In most of the Shakespearean tragedy, the disguise was not that common, but in King Lear, we have a disguise. Character Edgar, who is disguised as Tom O. Bedlam. Let me ask you a question in UPSC, comment on the role of disguise in Shakespeare. In Tempest, we have comedies, comedy style, characteristics of a comedy. Tempest is a one day story. While preparing for UPSC optional students make a mistake, they don't understand what exactly is called three unities. Unity of time, unity of place, unity of action, and how beautifully Shakespeare tried to portray those three unities in Tempest. Do you know that Tempest was the immediate reason of an accident of 1608? A ship which was supposed to be drowned returned after one month, and every survivor was alive. They all survived. When they returned, there was a great celebration of their arrival. It is believed to be the immediate motivation, immediate inspiration for Tempest. When you study Tempest and you just read it as a comedy where Prospero has been deceived by his brother Antony, Prospero was the one who did not pay attention to his kingdom. He had a big library. He says, my library enough to the dukedom. My library was bigger than my kingdom. This man who is already devoted to studies, magic, learning, when he is outcasted, he goes for the island. He is held by Gonzalo. The sailing itself is the part of post-colonial narrative. When he reaches there, he finds a witch Psychorex and Caliban. Starts learning from Psychorex and once he is powerful enough, he defeats her and becomes the head of that island, the owner of that island. 
This is called Prospero Complex. The symbolic reference is Edward Said in his Orientalism work, 1978. He says that Prospero Complex is evident everywhere. You Orients want to learn from us. You want to learn from the Occidents so that there will be no Occidents. Like we all want to become like Europeans and when we all become Europeans, there will be no Europe left. If we all become like English people, there will be no England left. This is Prospero Complex. While Kelvin, who has been taught a language, he says, My master, thou hast taught me a tongue. And my benefit is that the red plague be red on you. I can curse you. He says that the language teaching is the first and fundamental or the essential part of colonization. You must employ the post-colonial characteristics to tempest. You must understand, when Caliban, who is suffering from an assistance, colonial inferiority, tries to rape Miranda, Prospero is ready to kill him. Miranda says, no, don't kill him because he brings us food. He prepares fire for us. He prepares our bed. She shows that he is inferior and a slave and we need a slave. She says that we always need a slave. Caliban's attempt to get rid of Prospero's dominance while he tries to take the help of Trinculo and Stephen. He says that help me to get rid of and I will show you all the minerals of the island is the part of Caliban complex. The known attempt to resist. This is called abrogation. While the attitude of Trinculo towards Caliban, he says, Look at this beast. I'll take him England dead or alive. Any English gentleman who would not spend a penny for a good cause will throw 10 center to see the beast. This is the post-colonial narration of Tempest. My suggestion to all the UPSC students who are preparing for optionals, do not read merely the stories. If you think you are reading stories from Wikipedia, Spark Notes, or you have purchased the book and you're reading the book line by line, the book itself will not tell you that what are the grounds to study those things. King Lear has been studied from disability point of view. Now there is a new literature which is called the literature of disables. You must understand the majestic king who had 100 knights in his command became mad, old, beggar kind of person, suffering in a storm scene. You must understand his mental condition and read this man from disabled point of view. There was a question in UPSC which has actually questioned the disability concept of King Lear. The same question in UPSC, the post-colonial analysis of Tempest. This is my message to all the UPSC optional students. My friends, taking English as an optional is a smart move. Syllabus is very short, can be finished within two months and you just have to read selected things. You don't have to give a lot of unending readings. In literature, you can be 100% sure about your readings. You can be 100% sure about your writing skills. With us, if you join our classes, we make sure that within two months, you are prepared with everything, with our Zoom sessions, video classes, digital board classes, podcast lectures, along with our recommended readings. In my classes, I make sure that my students get plenty of chance to understand things and I do not overburden them with unnecessary readings. I don't let them just read. I tell them what to read, from where to read, and then I provide the sources and I explain those things. I tell them that the task of searching things, prepare things, is mine. Your task is to read, understand, and be prepared. If you want to learn like this, I invite you to join the UPSC optional English classes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.